Real quickly boys, just before we get into today's video, I want to make mention that a lot of the time when people can't do a glitch, they'll go down in the comments and they'll say, you know, it don't work, it's been patched, all this, and it's usually not true. So what I'm going to do is I am going to keep the pinned comment up to date whether this glitch has been patched or not. So before you watch the video, make sure you go down and if it says it's patched, then you can just not waste your time. If it doesn't say anything though, if it hasn't changed, then it definitely hasn't been patched. I promise you I will keep it up to date. And if you see comments from people saying it doesn't work or whatever, it's just because they couldn't do it for whatever reason. And while you're here, make sure you go down, you drop a like on the video and you hit that subscribe button for me. Really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, on to the video. Boys, welcome back to another video, and today we are going to be taking a look at the still working squad battles glitch. Now, this isn't a new glitch or anything, but with icon swaps being released again, I know people are going to be looking for glitches, and they're not going to be sure if the old ones still work, and all this stuff. And depending on if you've seen it or not before, the glitch on the edge of the opponent's box is still working. So, in this video, as you can see, we are going up against the team of the week on squad battles. I went on world class. Because that, unfortunately, is the only difficulty that the glitch works on. However, that is absolutely perfect for Icon Swaps, as Icon Swaps objectives are always on Wells Class. I mean, they might do some on Legendary this time. Who knows? We'll find out. But uh, yeah, only works on Wells Class. So, we've just cut to a point of the game where I've taken the lead, as there's a lot of misconceptions about the glitch. where I've heard people say that it only works when you're losing or drawing, so I wanted to just dispel that rumor right now and show you that it works when you're winning. Now, we're about to get into the glitch, so it's going to be it's going to happen real quickly, and I'm going to explain it as best as I can. We'll go over it again, don't worry. So what you need to do is you get the ball on the edge of your opponent's D, and then you hold L2 or LT on Xbox, L2 PlayStation, as you can see now, entering the D, holding L LT, then you turn your back to your opponent's goal, walk back towards your own goal slightly, then let go of LT. And that's it. What should happen, if you've done it right, is the opponent will just keep running into your player's back. And that's it. So again, let me explain that. What you do, I'm just going to assume you're on Xbox. You take your ball into the opponent's D. You hold LT, slash L2 on PlayStation. Then you turn your back to the opponent's goal. Walk forward just slightly, or walk towards your own goal slightly, with your back towards the opponent's goal, then let go of LT. And again, if done correctly, the player will just keep running into your player's back. Now, since I lasted this video, I've learned a lot more about the glitch, as I've used it a lot of times, um, you know, in icon swaps, and just in general. So, as I said before, this only works on world class. You, you can try it on the other difficulties, it just won't work. I don't know why, it's a bit weird. But that's how it is. Um, I've had people say that they've had this work on other parts of the pitch as well. I personally can't get it to. Uh, but someone did send me a video of it working down the wing. So try it in other parts of the pitch. If that works for you, that's absolutely fine. If not, this definitely works. Um, it works better depending on how strong and tall the player you're using is. So if you've got a big tall forward, it's harder for the opponent player to like get round him. Sometimes you'll notice if you do it with a smaller player, if he was using Messi, for example, the player that's running into his back can sometimes sort of like glitch round him and uh, get the ball off him. So try and use a taller and stronger player if you can. Works on any scoreline. Like I said, um, we're proving here that it works at 1-0. The only scoreline that you might have trouble with is 3-0. And that is because on squad battles, when you've got a three-goal lead, so it can be any three-goal lead really, 4-1, 5-2, the AI get a lot more aggressive. I don't know why. I don't know why that's a thing. But I finish top 200 every week. Trust me, that's a thing. Once you get a three goal lead, they all of a sudden get more aggressive and start pressing you. And then once you get a four goal lead, it goes back to normal. Can't explain it, but yeah. Also, it won't work depending on custom tactics. And that's the opponent's custom tactics. I had a lot of people asking me this. Like sometimes, how come sometimes they're pressing me and sometimes they're not? That's purely based on the custom tactics of the team you're playing. If you don't know, people's custom tactics carry over into squad battles. So if they're set up really aggressively, it unfortunately won't work against that team full stop. Even if you do everything correctly, it still won't work. So yeah, 
make sure, well, there's nothing you can do about it, but you might need to like back out of that game or just finish that game and go into the next one. So just be careful. Don't try the glitch once and then go, oh, it's not working. It is 100 million percent working. All right. I promise you. And the last thing I, I took, I took some notes. I'm a professional. The last thing I wrote down was works on all platforms. So if you're on next gen, current gen, whatever, PC is working on your platform. I'm currently recording this on last gen. I even though I play on the Series X, but I prefer the last gen version of the game. I don't know why. But yeah, that pretty much covers everything. Um, I'll run through it all again. So only works on world class. Supposedly it works on other parts of the pitch. I personally have had no luck with that. Works better with taller or stronger players. Works at any scoreline. Won't work depending on the custom tactics of your opponent, i.e. if they're set up very aggressively. And it works on all platforms. So if you've got any questions about the glitch, feel free to drop a comment down below. I will gladly help you out. But it's pretty simple, really. Just, again, hold LT slash L2 when you're on the opponent's D. Then turn your back to the opponent's goal, walk forward or towards your own goal ever so slightly, then let go of LT, slash L2, <laughs> and boom, you're done. Couldn't be much simpler. Anyway, boys, thank you so, so much for watching this little update video. I hope it helps you get your icon swaps done. Like I say, if you need any help, go down in the comments, and I'll try and get back to you as quickly as humanly possible. And uh, yeah, I will see you boys again in the next one. Cheers, boys.